One way to improve your skills in English is by watching cooking videos. In this video, I'll show you how to make lasagna. For this recipe, I made my own sauce, and here are the ingredients for the sauce. I used a can of crushed tomatoes, a tomato, tomato paste, onion, garlic, fennel seed, Italian seasoning, basil, salt, and pepper. But you can also just go to the store and buy a can of pasta sauce. That would be easier, but it doesn't taste as good. So I recommend that you make your own sauce. Oh, the parsley goes in the sauce too. In addition to the sauce, you need lasagna noodles, cottage cheese, two eggs, mozzarella cheese. There's about a pound and a half of mozzarella cheese here. Parmesan cheese, parsley, and also zucchinis. I have two zucchinis. This is going to be a vegetable lasagna. Boil some water for the noodles. First, I spread some sauce on the bottom of a 9 by 13 inch baking pan. This is a special pan for making lasagna. The lasagna noodles fit the bottom of the pan. That's why it's important to have the right size. Now that the water is boiling, I'll add the lasagna noodles to the water and boil the noodles for five or six minutes. The noodles should be al dente, that is, they shouldn't be cooked all the way through. The noodles should not be cooked all the way through because the sauce will soak into the noodles. So now the noodles are in the boiling water. I'm using tongs so that I can take the noodles out of the boiling water without burning myself. Don't let the pasta cook for too long or else it will get soggy. So I'm going to take the, these big noodles out and put them in a colander. I'm going to drain these lasagna noodles and rinse them with cold water. The noodles are then placed on top of the sauce. Six of these long noodles fit on the bottom of the pan. In a mixing bowl, I'm going to put 16 ounces of cottage cheese in here. You can use ricotta cheese but cottage cheese is less expensive. I'll add two eggs. I'm cracking the eggs and I'm gonna mix the eggs first. And then add this to the cottage cheese. two tablespoons of parsley. This is about two tablespoons of parsley here. I cut this earlier. And add a little bit of salt. And then just mix this up. This is gonna be one of the layers in the lasagna. I'm mixing this up. This is a mixture of cottage cheese, two eggs, parsley, and some salt. About 
half of this will go on top of these noodles. The cheese sauce covers the noodles completely. Next, the mozzarella slices will go on top of the cheese sauce. Next, I'll put one and a half cups of the sauce on top of the mozzarella. There's one cup and it's about half a cup and then just spread the sauce on top of the cheese. The sauce is now spread evenly over the cheese. This is a vegetable lasagna, so I'm going to add some zucchini, thinly sliced. And these slices will go on top of the sauce. I'm slicing the zucchini. Put the zucchini slices on top of the sauce. So there's a thin layer of zucchini on top of the sauce. These are sliced very thin. That's about an eighth of an inch. Next, put another layer of the lasagna on top of the zucchini. And then on top of the noodles, spread the remaining cheese sauce. It's a little watery, but the noodles will absorb the water. Put on another layer of the mozzarella slices. This goes over the cheese sauce. On top of the cheese, you can spread the rest of the pasta sauce. On top of the pasta sauce, you can put some more mozzarella cheese. This is all, this cheese is all pre-cut. I also put on some Parmesan. I put about a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese on top of the mozzarella. Now it's ready to go in the oven. First I'll take some aluminum foil and put this on top. This will stay on for about 30 minutes, the first 30 minutes that it bakes, and then I'll take this off. Preheat the oven to 375 degrees. After the oven has preheated, then you're ready to put the lasagna in. That will go in for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I'll take the aluminum foil off of the pan and let it cook for another 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, you can take the lasagna out of the oven. It should look like this. This looks like it's done. Bon appetit.